This upgrade to Adagio Receivables 9.3a has many new improvements, including sending customer statements and processing credit card payments more easily. In prior versions of Receivables, if you wanted to send some customer statements by email and others by mailed paper or by fax, you had to run the process once for each method. Now, when generating statements for a group of customers from the Reports menu, or for a single customer when editing the record, it is possible to send each of print, email, or fax method as needed, and click the Send Print button just once. This works in combination with the option to match preferred send method, so that the statement is sent to the customer in the single desired way. Also, keyboard shortcuts are available to toggle the checkboxes. Either Alt-M to highlight the Send Method box, using the arrow keys and spacebar to select, or the Alt key and the first letter, to toggle the specific method. It was previously possible to print only outstanding invoices and other transactions that had not yet been paid or completed. Now it is also possible to print just those invoices that are overdue. Current invoices and other transaction types will be suppressed from printing. To determine whether an invoice is considered overdue, a new company profile option is available to indicate whether company aging is by the document date or the due date. To accommodate this feature, there are new specification codes for printing the statement total less the current amount. F29 if company aging is by the document date, and F30 if company aging is by the due date. If you choose to attach invoice PDFs to statements, you may only want to include those that are overdue by a given number of days to reduce the number of emailed attachments and put focus on those that are the most important to collect. Also, when all invoices do not have a PDF to attach, it is now possible to not display the missing attachment screen with a new option in the company profile to disable Show Invoices to Attach Not Found. Earlier versions of Adagio receivables were not PCI DSS compliant because the full credit card number was stored in the customer record. Compliancy is achieved in this upgrade, as a data conversion removes all credit card numbers from customers and all posted transactions, leaving behind just the last four digits. If you take customer credit cards for payments, you can now store the card information in an externally accessible vault with North American Payment Solutions when integrated with the new Adagio Payments add-on. Credit cards have a unique vault ID that is selected when entering a transaction and links back to the customer for processing when the transaction is posted. Cards can be entered when editing the customer or on the fly from within transaction entry from the plus button. Whether you are entering an invoice batch entry with an included credit card payment or a cash batch entry with a credit card payment, you may choose to leave authorization of the card until the batch is posted to capture the sale or pre-authorize the charge now with a transaction ID and authorization code and capture the charge later when the batch is posted. If you integrate with another invoicing program and import invoices, New fields have been included to import the online credit card information, including the authorization information. An additional feature of Adagio Payments integration is to allow recurring charges to support automatic payment inclusion. When editing the customer charge, if you choose to enable Make Payment, then you can choose an associated payment method, an online credit card processor, to include a payment on the generated recurring charge invoice. This can be edited prior to posting the batch. For more complete information about setting up and using online vaulted credit cards, follow this link 
to watch the Adagio Payments Watch Me video. In addition to affecting customer statements and determining which invoices are overdue, the option in the company profile to set customer aging by due date or document date has other changes. When you access the Calculate Customer Aging process, you no longer can change the aging method on the fly at the top of the screen. Instead, the method from the profile will be used, as typically companies are only interested in aging transactions one way or the other. When using Edit or View Customers to look at the Transactions tab, the aged amounts at the bottom were previously only calculated by due date. Now, if the profile sets customer aging by document date, these values are aged similarly. And for companies that use Adagio Console, a new automation command to calculate aging is available to run the aging and on-hold processes already saved in the function. This ensures aging and status updates are done as needed. If you enter transactions for one-time customers, your previous choices were to enter a cash entry and a blank customer code, but no history was saved, or a specific cash customer record with a history that could be used in error in other places. Now you can assign a miscellaneous customer status to cash-only customers to not only keep history but also prevent inaccurate use. Customers with a miscellaneous setting do not allow keeping recurring charges, ship to codes, and credit cards, information relevant to specific customers. Also, you cannot post any transaction to a miscellaneous customer that would result in a non-zero balance, such as an invoice without a payment, or a cash prepayment. Though not necessary, typically these customers would be defined with terms that requires full payment. If a miscellaneous customer is paying by credit card, then in conjunction with Adagio Payments, a one-time North American Payment Solutions credit card can be vaulted within batch entry. As with other Adagio 9.3a upgrades, New standard options available in receivables include compatibility with Adagio Doc Store to attach and view PDFs on transactions and customers, backup data from a toolbar button or prior to important processes, behavior changes to user preferences, phone number formatting on grids, and other small improvements. Two new common features have been introduced to Adagio in this upgrade. One is the ability, when accessing the column editor, to search for desired fields, either by the data type or by entering a portion of the field name. True-false fields are part of the text selection. For tables with many fields, this should make it even easier to locate desired information to display on the grid. The other is to allow using the find process on grids when a filter is active. Previously, the Find button was disabled, but now you can open the screen either to type in the customer number or use the Finder or Smart Finder to locate the customer within the filtered results. Read the complete list of features and changes from the release notes. Watch another video on this Adagio program from the playlist. Or subscribe to the Adagio YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.